go check out this other room, then. Frigidarium. Alright, let's go check out the fridge. Whoa! This area serves as Sir Rodney Bentcliffe's workshop. Did you... There's a hole in the roof. Did you see that? Look. So, that looks all nice and fancy. Look, I'll even do a comparison. Look at this. Ooh, ah, look at that. All nice. And you come here, and it's literally falling apart. Need some... Is that a cockroach? Oh, lovely. Some kind of bugs or cockroaches on the floor. Yeah. Man, that's kind of gross. Let's see. Table. And here we go. Tools used by archaeologists in their research. All right. Item. Oh, we can get that thing out of the fire. I will need these tongs. That'd be very handy. Uh, other table. What's this? This metal plate bes beside Fitz's archaeological interests appears to be part of something larger. At the present moment, I'm unable to determine exactly what that might be. Alright. It's a... It's a weird looking plate. A shape has been cut in the plate. What should be done with it? Well, apparently I'm just going to take it. What should be done with it, huh? Oh, we're going to take it. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. You got to label those correctly. You know, you don't just keep them and not take documents. Uh, let's see. I wish to organize a press conference in the, at the Strand Lane Bass next month, 1893. was a remarkable year for the work in Egypt. Now it's time to set my focus upon English archaeology. To shine the light on our national treasure and retrieve them to the public. I wish... I would like to see as many journals as possible at the attendance to record this event. Record it favorably if we treat them well enough. Um, I should like to recall my old friendship with Lord Blackmore and with the special funds of the loyal... Royal Archaeological Institute for this event, Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Hmm. So you made a big old press conference. Okay, Daily Miner. Uh, see, degrees. He's a gentleman who passes the wealth of notoriety and vigor as well to match. Charms. Young ladies hold powerful connections within the Lord Chambers. Uh, Sir Rodney is determined, an ambitious presence. Okay, so just basically just glorifying him. Uh, the Times. Research efforts. Uh, Rodney has taken immediate control. Um, holds a key to great mystery and a pledge to update our readers with the exciting news of it develops. Ah, I guess there's a site where they're digging up. Whoa, okay. A little weird. Just randomly looking up at the sky. Don't mind me. Archaeological findings. Old clay pots with numbers inscribed upon them. Okay. And another shelf. What do we got in here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Anything good? Anything good? Wait, what was that? Eh? Box! Glass plate negatives. A remarkable method for recording ancient civilizations. A.K.A. a camera. With photos. A glass plate negative is missing. Hmm. Interesting. What do we got here? What does this look like? 
It is a glass plate negative of an Egyptian statue. Huh. And I guess we're done with the box. But we're missing a picture. I wonder what that would have. Okay. Oh, man. It's got vines growing in this shit. Look at this. This place is like falling apart. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. That freaking wall ceiling just came in. All right. I wonder how this could have happened. <laughs> yes, it is somewhat treacherous. <clears throat> Fortunately, I am unscathed. To where does this corridor lead? To the Frigidarium. The coal room. Barely unscathed and by a very small margin. And treacherous is an understatement. The f fuck, man. Just randomly fell on us. Those stones weigh tons. We won't move them. It does not matter. If our investigation requires it, we shall ask for them to be removed. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. It's like, um, the wall just came down. It's like, oh, well, those things weigh a shitload. I'm like, well, you know, if I need them gone, they'll be fucking gone. That's all I gotta say. These baths are becoming sinister. Yes, sinister is right. All right, um, let's see where we're gonna go. I think we should go back to Baker Street and test out that stuff. All right, let's go check out some chemicals. Uh, analyze dirt. All right, and what are we gonna find here? Focus. Focus. Oh, there we go. Pyrite, otherwise known as fool's gold. Oh, yeah. Pyrite. White clay. White clay particles. Okay. Oh, what was that? Selenite. Interesting. According to the color and its composition, I deduce that this sample is white clay. Now, I need to find which area near London this sample belongs to. So, gee, I wonder what maybe we should look for. Uh, let's do... Ah, the sample right. of dirt belongs to the White London Clay region, located near the city of St. Albans. Well, there. What we should look for? White clay? You said white clay, eh? Let us analyze this blood sample. Yes, let's look at the blood. Focus. Focus. This, let us see what is inside it. Hydrogen peroxide will bring any foreign matter to the surface. Okay. Uh, let's see. Peroxide pipit. Okay. Use the peroxide. And do a little droplet. Boing. Okay, guess we need more. More droplets. Oh, guess we need more. Okay. Water. This blood is heavily diluted with water. Hmm, that's interesting. Why would it be so much water? My analysis table. It is useful for my work. Ah, oh, shit. You know what I didn't do? I didn't grab that, sil what, that silver bar there. Alright, let's go grab that bar. See what the fuck that is. Alright. No, not the glasses. There we go. And... Nope. Oh. There we go. And bring it back. I should analyze this melted metal. Alright. Now, well, let's just go back to Baker Street then. Alright, so let's see what this metal says. Analyze metal. Alright. This is a piece of metal taken from a brazier. It appears to be silver, but I need to be sure. If it is silver, it will be possible to melt it, since silver's melting point is at around 900 degrees Celsius. Let us compare this sample with a silver penny by testing it with acid. If it changes color to match the result of a reaction with a silver coin, then it is silver. 
All right, just simple chemicals. Take a pipette. There's acid, nicely labeled right there. Okay, and then we'll just go drop. It turned red. Okay, we're gonna cover it right over this lady's face. A little bit right there. And nowhere near. The reaction is the same red stain. It is silver. Britannia silver quality. But it is silver. Hmm. Alright, let's go check out Scotland Yard. Alright. What are you doing? Morning? Morning? Good day to you, Mr. Holmes. Good day. Let's see. What's wrong with your leg? Huh? Been drinking too much? Huh? Missing girl, do you see that over there? Been drinking too much, you bastard. So I thought. Alright, let's go check out this room and check out the evidence to see what we can find. We're gonna start with this one. Right there. Okay, we got a fountain pen. Fountain pen with solid gold trim. Ah, we got a visitor card. Has blank in there. We go. It's a Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. Okay, so visits there. An embroidered silk handkerchief. Nothing that big. All right. There's the blood-stained towel. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. Okay. Drugs. A phial with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wart flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. So you start tripping out if you use it too much. Good to know. And a pencil. An ordinary pencil. Nope, nothing big. Letter. Uh, Sir Gregory Pitkin, manager to Mr. Bilkhorn. Dear Sir, the interests that I represent require the situation in the bass to be changed for the better. At the present time, the refrigeratorium excavation remain under your direction, has yet the works that, not, that have not progressed. You have failed to find any value. We are unable to make the frigidarium accessible to the pub public. The frigidarium is a value asset in the recreation of the Roman bath experience. I urge you to complete your work within the next two months. You have the remaining time to conclude your archaeological research and f find yourself another workplace. Oh. So apparently he wasn't working to his liking and was saying, if you don't get it done, you're fired. Okay. Uh, let's see, map. Drawn map. Okay, just took that map. What we got here, got some lady. And a coin. An old and rather dirty coin. Looks like a Roman coin, to be honest. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. Okay. Let's see. Oh, really bad solder. I see the join. This ring was repaired, and quite badly, too, with silver. Hmm. Oop. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question. Maybe he found it. Notebook. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. Okay. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. I don't want to damage the traces. All right. 
So this is what we're going to do, I guess. We're tracing... Tracing the letters. Oh, there we go. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil marks with a handkerchief. I'm sure that Watson won't mind if I use his. Okay, let's see how this works. Oh, that's pretty cool. If you think about it. Some of this stuff makes you wonder if you can actually do it, or is it just video game things? You know? Like, oh, we need this move. Oh, look, it's magically gone. You know? But this is the kind of stuff you wonder. Mr. Holmes, the coroner... But what are you doing? 